Low quality driving skills, no adherence to law or standards, expect everybody to come at you. It's going to be an interesting day. After spending the past three months exploring Malaysia in our UK camper van, it was time to head into Thailand and get one step closer to completing our around the world drive. But the process of getting into Thailand wasn't as easy as we'd hoped. I'm not sure what we're going to do because we can't go back into Malaysia and we can't go forward. We're stuck. Arriving at the Thai border, we were told that Trudy couldn't enter without written permission from the Ministry of Transport. So we spent the last 10 days in the border town of Danok, unable to move, whilst we wait for the correct paperwork to arrive. Finally, it arrived. We're legal, and now we're ready to start exploring Thailand. Traveling. It leaves you speechless and then turns you into a storyteller. Ibn Battuta. Thank you, bye-bye. We're all checked out, but before we hit the road, we're gonna get the map on the side of the van and just share with you our plan for the first day driving here in Thailand. Okay, so this is where we crossed into Thailand here, the Sadao border crossing. So the plan is today, we're gonna drive up through Hat Yai, all the way up here, cross over towards Trang, and then head further west and then come down to Koh Lanta, which is where we're going to spend the night tonight. We went there years and years ago on holiday with our kids. Actually, we've been there twice and we stayed at a place called Where Else? And uh, the owner, Mr. Witt, we haven't seen him for 20 years, but we're going to go there and see if we can find him because um, it would just be lovely to see him again. And if not, Koh Lanta is a beautiful stop on the way north. I have actually Googled where else and it doesn't seem to exist. In the place of it, there's some, something called somewhere else. So I'm not even sure if he's there, but it will just be really cool to try. Right, north we go. beautiful sunny day it's definitely it seems that we're north of the uh, Malaysian monsoon now because the weather really has been quite dry whilst we've been here so far the roads aren't too bad seem to be quite well tarmacked all these lorries there's miles of lorries waiting to cross it's going to take a while to get used to uh, all these different bikes and it just looks so different I mean look at this one here bike carrying uh, water by the looks of it. I think it's going to be an interesting drive up through Thailand. We were excited to be finally hitting the road after such a long wait. We're not very good at staying still for too long. We have been warned that the uh, driving is a little more chaotic in, uh, in Thailand. So uh, we'll have to just see how that goes. Uh, there's definitely more motorbikes up here from what we've seen. All of these trees on the right here have got little cups on them. I think they're probably rubber tree. Being in an aircon hotel for so long, you seem to forget how hot it is out here and even though it's quite cloudy and it's it's just so warm um i think once we get to the north of thailand chiang mai the uh, the staff in the hotel said it's going to be a lot cooler i said how cold they said 20 degrees i said that's like a summer's day back home um, but that will be nice we'll be able to uh, sleep back in trudy and uh, not have to uh, rely on aircon keeping us uh, keeping us cool and healthy the signs are in uh, Thai and English characters, which is uh, which is very handy for us. And we're using uh, we're using the Waze app to to navigate here in Thailand. That all seems to be working good so far. The wiring down the road 
I can't get used to that. It's uh, there's a lot of wires. Lots of beautiful architecture, temples, and that sort of typical Thai look, which I absolutely love. I always find it amazing how you cross a border, uh, literally within a mile, it feels like you're somewhere, well, you are somewhere completely different, uh, different country, but it's literally just right there, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, Chris, maybe that was a bit confusing, but just crossing a border, I've been transported into a place that just feels so different. It's been around 20 years since we were last in Thailand, and I'm sure like everywhere, it's a lot different than it was all those years ago. Look at this for a little bus taxi thing here. I love that, there's a truck with a seat in on the back. That's so cool. Oh, there's, another, there's another one. I think I want one. Can we get can we get one of those? Maybe we could go on adventure in one of those. What do you reckon? Let's food stand off his motorbike. They're selling selling bits by the side there, look. Snacks. <laughs> nice big wave there. There's actually a guy stood on the back of this truck. Look, you can just see his feet. It uh, it reminds me the first time we came to, to Thailand, we arrived uh, from Langkawi in Seitun and uh, we got a taxi uh, up towards Phuket and we ended up standing on the back of this truck on the bumper holding onto the roof rack going down fast roads, uh, which when you think about it is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> Just going past the uh, city of Hat Yai as we head north. We normally like to take the smaller roads, but there isn't really um, any other route at the moment to get to where we want to go, so we've got to take the main roads. Um, but as we get out of the city and stuff, it will get smaller and uh, more quieter and more natural. some of the trucks, they load them in a special way here. It's also quite common to have uh, motorbikes and vehicles coming the wrong way down the hard shoulder. I love the way they've adapted the vehicles yeah. to suit their needs. Can you do that in the UK? Can you just adapt no, the vehicle? definitely not. I always find that self-driving through a country gives you a unique perspective and freedom that you don't get when you're on a tour or using public transportation. And that's what we love about driving around the world in Trudy. Although after driving over 55,000 miles since leaving the UK, she might need a little bit of TLC and a holiday by the time we eventually get her back home. Scenery starting to get more hilly. There's quite big mountains in the distance there. Uh, we're about, probably about 40 kilometers uh, east of Trang. So when we get to Trang, we'll probably stop and uh, see if we can find somewhere to grab a bite to eat. I love that it's the roads are just opening out. Yeah. Very green, very lush, and very beautiful coming through these hills this morning. And we're just coming into the outskirts of Trang. So uh, yeah, we'll try and find somewhere uh, 
to grab a quick bite on the way through. Okay, so we stopped for some lunch at this service station. Hi. Chicken with kaffir, lime leaves, rice, egg. I'm not sure what these are. Looks like lettuce leaves. I love that you can hear the chickens. <laughs> they like that? I don't know what that is. Cucumber and then some spicy chili sauce. I love the chili sauce, you can have the cucumber. I really like the taste of kaffir lime leaves. It's such a unique Thai flavour. And the chili sauce, as you would expect in Thailand, is very hot. Your face is very red. <laughs> it's hot. I like it, but it's very hot. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> After that quick pit stop, we've got one hour, 45 minutes to go and a car ferry. So we had a few comments about the aircon in Trudy um, saying, why don't you install aircon? Well, we've already explained that we don't have the uh, battery capacity or the space to put more batteries, but Trudy does have aircon in the front, um, but it's not that effective. And a few people suggested putting um, our curtain up behind us to uh, help keep the cool air in the front. So that's what we've just done. Done. And I think it's gonna work pretty good. With the heat of the midday sun, our aircon is always going to struggle. But did the curtain help? Mm, maybe a little bit. Right, turn right. Turn left on rural road. Oh, we're definitely on the, uh, the smaller roads now compared to this morning. Driving through the little villages, lots of banana trees, palm trees, the odd cow tied up outside people's houses. Corners. <laughs> I love the little temples outside people's houses as well. Yeah. And selling things on outside their houses. It's like the honesty boxes you get at home. It's not unusual to see eggs and vegetables outside a farm and a little tub for you to put your payment. In fact, we used to have a lot of chickens in the UK and often we had more eggs than we could use. So we too used to place a little honesty box outside our house. Koh Lanta. We're turning off to the road to Koh Lanta. Seems absolutely mad, seeing as we came here on holiday. Wow, all those years ago, as I clung to the back of a pickup truck and headed down this exact road, I would never have imagined that one day we'd be here in our UK van. Oh, he's turning. Is he telling me to go or stop or go or stop or? Come on, that bit up there. One thing you do have to watch out for is cars overtaking and coming straight for you. They are taking the overtaker. Yeah, they are quite brave on the road. Mangroves at the side of the road. Look at that. So we are definitely getting near the coast. Wow. All the way down the road by the side, they've got these little seating areas with the cool roofs that you can just stop and rest in. There's another one. There you go. We're coming down to get the ferry. And this is exactly, this is exactly where we came last time. Though I seem to remember here, there was just two small huts selling coffee. Do you remember? Two little, really rural places. How do you pay? I think I'm gonna go behind the lorry. Oh yeah, he's waving you down, this one. Oh, foreign tourist 55. Fortunately, it's on the other side, so we've got a bit of time to find out. Okay, Marianne's just ran off to uh, go and get the ticket. It was 270 baht. Amazing. Can I have the ticket? Yeah. 
the top one, the scan one. There you go. Captain car. Right. So Lumper, here we go. We've got space for little Trudy. Yeah. Just about. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Does this remind you when we were traveling with Sam and Andy? Yeah, going up to up uh, the to Arctic Ocean. Arctic in, in okay, Colin is sunk in the mud, coming off the ferry. Right, how cool is that? It's very cool. I can't believe we're actually doing this. 27 years or 20, 25 years since we came here on our honeymoon. <laughs> So it's just a short ferry ride just across the water. So Lantern's just opposite us there. There's one of the ferries coming uh, back from the island, Colanta. And I'm just gonna go up here. There's Trudy down there. That's how they transport the moped. And then we're gonna be going over there to this side of the island. In fact, you can see the ramp that we're going to over there. Okay, we're off the, uh, the ferry and we've got about 20 minutes um, to get to the South Island. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the first view of Koh Lanta. As soon as you come off, you can see lots of tsunami evacuation uh, route signs because uh, this island, this region was hit very badly in the tsunami um, in the early 2000s. In fact, Mr. Witt and uh, where else, which is where we were heading now, we actually saw it on Google and a, uh, the, the wave hit that area, uh, but they managed to escape to high ground. So this is a new bridge. This wasn't here when we came 20 years ago, uh, going over to the South Island. And there you go, that's where the ta main town is down there. to say is from memory this road was like a single single lane road heading south down through the island and now it's huge yeah and i remember there being lots of potholes and it being really like sometimes cementy road sometimes mud road where we're going is actually off this road which is not how i remember it at all but isn't that often the case you go somewhere 15 20 years later and it's uh, it's changed but it'll be interesting to see if, uh, if our friend's still here. Okay, so we think it's down here. There's a monkey sat in the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a monkey, I'd be sat in the middle of the road. Oh, there's more than one monkey. Oh, there's a whole fan. Oh, there's loads of them. Hey, guys. Okay. Wrong turn. We're back on the main road. We're going to try another road. Let's try again. It should be straight down here. So this is more what it used to be like here before it obviously got developed. And I, I think it's at the end of this road. Somewhere else. This has got to be it. Can you imagine if we actually managed to find him after all these years? I don't even know if he would remember us. Oh, I'll tell you what, my knee is giving me real jip at the moment. It's an old injury. I've dislocated my right knee twice in my life and had two operations. But today it seems that the tight muscles just feel like it's pulling the knee out of alignment and walking was very painful. Anyway, we've arrived. And we're going to go and try and find reception and see whether Mr. Witt is here. It's changed a lot since we've been here. Um, That's if it is the same place. It might have, he might have sold it years ago. So 
somebody's just pulled up for us to ask. So the original warehouse has moved, but uh, apparently it's still run by the same family. So this is actually Mr. Witt's brother. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they've moved the location, but Mr. Witt apparently is still on the island. Yes. So he's going to call him and see see if it's possible that uh, we can meet up with him while we're here. That's amazing. 20, I think, what year was it? Two, uh, 1999. <laughs> we're trying. He asked his brother if he was able to pop down and didn't let on that we were here. But he agreed and he should arrive in about half an hour's time. Okay, so they're actually full here for the night, but uh, the neighbor's coming to see where we can park Trudy and he's got a little place just behind here. Yeah. <laughs> we are okay, and you? Ah, you remember us? You yeah, yeah. You haven't <laughs> when we visited in my mid-twenties, we bought a beer so we could sit and watch the sunset. I spotted a bench that we could sit on. I sat down and it broke in two and I literally found myself flat on my back. Mr. Wheat came over to make sure I was okay and couldn't stop laughing. As I just sat on a table, it wasn't a bench after all. Sit on your table and break. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. you're a big guy, huh? And then we bring <laughs> yeah. the kids. Yeah. How are you? Are you okay? We come to see you. Oh, thank you very much. Wow. We showed him a picture we took with him from our last visit. Long time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. 20 years. Yes. I couldn't believe it, and neither could he. We invited him for a drink and sat reminiscing about the good old days. We were so pleased that we managed to find him after all these years. How amazing is that? To come back and see somebody <laughs> from 20 years ago. Uh -huh. Lovely. Oh, absolutely unbelievable. We had a lovely chat, had a coffee and stuff. Now we're going to check into our hotel and then we'll go back to somewhere else for a little dinner tonight. <sighs> it's a great we, start to our Thai I think adventure. We've really, really shocked and surprised him. He's like, he, have, he did. He, 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 he was said, like, <laughs> he said, I have friends that I've known for longer than you and I haven't seen them for so, for so long. And, and you came after 25 years. It's like <laughs> amazing, amazing. Just wonderful experience. Here you go, this is our room for the night. We've got twin beds, that's all they had, but that's okay. We've got a little balcony. And Trudy's right there, so we can keep an eye on her. Amazing. How's the bed? Oh, it's lovely, it's bouncy. We've got a fan, air con, shower and toilet. What more do we want? That night, as we stood on the beach, gazing out to sea, it took me back to our honeymoon. It's been a good day. Later, I headed for a Thai massage. Although painful, the next day I had no pain in my knee. What a great start to our Thai adventures. <laughs>